And it has a white refrigerator. I was like, oh, oh, not a white refrigerator. Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. Ooh. Good morning, cousins. It's your home goods homegirl, Alyssa. And in today's video, I'm going to shop for a fridge. So, yeah, it's a little soft spot, sore spot for me right now because I just got this fridge repaired about a month ago and now it went out again allegedly for a different reason that is not fixable so I wasted my money um, now I have to go and look for a new fridge so let me turn towards this light so I'm gonna check out um, the Sears outlet and the Best Buy outlet I believe hopefully they're close by each other um, and what I just did is take took a picture of the inside of my fridge um, so I know the size, dimensions, um, cubic feet, and all that of my current fridge. I will say the, the space that it's in is kind of tight. So I think I'm going to go down a size as far as width-wise for the new fridge. The height is actually perfect, um, so I can't get anything taller than what I have right now. And yeah, let's go find a fridge, y'all. Oh, I have a lot of other stuff to do too. I don't know if I'm gonna show all of that, but um, we'll see. Oh, and I also want um, a mini fridge because since this happened twice in a row, now I'm kind of like leery um, of these appliances. So I want a mini fridge. I want it to be black um, so I could put it in my office. Um, I'll probably just have, I don't even like cold water, so I don't know, maybe I'll put rosé in it or something, but, um, what was I trying to say? Oh, so when things like this happen, I still have something to put just like creamer or whatever in to keep it cold because it's been one full week. I waited a full week for him to come and tell me that they couldn't fix it. It's like, I've been without, I had to throw away all my food for the second time. Um, Yeah. So I'm just kind of like trying to be solution based here. Think of a problem, a backup, um, you know, not been in this situation twice. Like what can I do to make this easier for myself next time? And since I don't have creamer, I haven't been using my coffee machine, which also went out. Um, and I thought they wanted me to return the old one, but I don't remember getting a label. So I need to email Nespresso um, and ask for a label. I thought they emailed me one but I just I can't find it in my emails I don't know I have to send it so I can drop that off because it's taking up space in my house you ever feel like when your house is just in a little bit of disarray because everything is just not in its place I'm trying to move things shift things the refrigerator is in the almost in the middle of the room dining room slash kitchen so yeah that's first on the agenda um no first is coffee so let me hit up Starbucks Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home. Well, that was very uneventful and quick. Because they only had like, they only had like 10 fridges and like only three of them were stainless steel. So now that I'm all kind of far out, I'm gonna see if there's another um, place close. Cause I swear there's one connected to the mall that's near here. Um, what is it called? I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. But if there is, and that, that place that I'm thinking about is way bigger. If there's another American Freight near, I'm gonna call first and see. First of all, how many stainless refrigerators do you have and what's the price range? 
because they had the exact one that I have for $1,500. I'm not about to pay that. Um, not for LG. This time, I think I'm going to go with KitchenAid, Frigidaire, or GE. Um, I, I would say or Kenmore, but Kenmore be real high too. KitchenAid be high too. I don't know. Frigidaire or GE. Mm. That's what she is to me. I got I kept going back and forth between two but in all actuality it's just a fridge <laughs> I'm very indecisive in that way but um, actually 91% of you said option two I believe um, and 19 9% said option one so later on in this video We'll see who was right and we'll see who was wrong. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to check my to-do list and see what else I gotta do. So it was one, one little salesman in there trying to get fresh. I was like, oh yeah, Walter's helping me. Um, oh, um, I said, you must've just got here, you know. Yeah, I said, yep, he, he wanted to help me. So he um, he's helping me. I wanted you too. I mean, I wanted to help you too. Sir, goodbye. Goodbye. You at work, uh, you old, uh, uh. I mean, maybe I, maybe you think I'm your, maybe you not old, I don't know. Maybe you just had a hard life, but don't, don't do that to yourself. Um, anyway, I was walking up and down the aisles and I noticed that if someone had bought a fridge, they put the customer information sheet on the front of the sold fridge and take the tag off. I was like, uh -uh, don't put my information on the front of this fridge. Don't put my name and my phone number. Like, huh? Uh-uh. That is personal identifying information. He was like, I'll let you fill out the slip. First initial, last name, area code XXX, and last two digits of my phone number. So if you need to look in the system and verify that it's the right customer, you can do that. But you're not about to put my stuff on the front of this scratched, indented, brand new to me fridge. Okay, <laughs> you're not, you're just not. So, whew, my to-do list, y'all. I know, crazy. 
each line is a thing, but I can cross a lot of it off. So I don't even think, think fridge is on here. I'm about to write it on here just so I can scratch it off. And then I need to go to Hobby Lobby because I need one more matting for my Iconic Women series of photography so I can hang up Miss Billie Holiday and get on with it. Um, yeah, but I'm way on the other side of town. I kind of want to see, well, Home Goods is nearby. I have a problem, I know I have a problem. However, I know so many people needing furniture right now and I will keep my eyes peeled for certain things that I know they need. One friend, I know she was looking for a dresser. Another friend, she was looking for this specific um, pink lomaine art piece, one that I showed in my stories, but she saw it late um, and is looking for it again. So I'm gonna see, you know, keep my eyes peeled for that. Uh, yeah, so hit me up if you're looking for something, preferably on Instagram. I can see your request quicker. Hopefully you're on Instagram. Um, and then all my uh, my links are in my description box for YouTube uh, for anything else you may need. So let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna look up a home goods, find a Hobby Lobby, and return this Nespresso because, ooh child, I, I'm just trying to clear things out my house. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited, I got my fridge. miss engine light comes on and she keeps driving it until it goes off um anyway hey Ooh, it is hot out here people keep talking about how summer is over first of all summer's not over summer's not over till uh september i think um so people need to stop rushing their life away Oh, it has been such a busy week. It is only Wednesday. Monday. I did some, was it Monday? I don't know. I did some karaoke with my friend Ashley. But I had a good time. She did wonderful. What song did she do? At first she wanted to do Tony Braxton, love Tony Braxton, but then as we were going through the lyrics of the song, we realized a lot of that, we don't know what she really saying. <laughs> so, so we opted out of that and then she was gonna do Juicy, but they only wanted um, us to do R&B. So we couldn't do that. Come on. Um, and then, She ended up doing Rihanna Needed Me and she did a wonderful job. Um, and then I thought I was gonna get out of it, but I did not. Um, I did Eric Badu, Tyrone. You know, I've never done that song karaoke, but I feel like it might be my go-to now. Cause the live version has people clapping and shouting in it so I, I just acted like they was doing that for me <laughs> oh but I had so much fun with her because that day was something else um, last week too so I really just needed that little boost and then today we are going to the Alex Isley concert so excited about this been waiting for this ready for this um yeah I'm really excited originally her show had sold out and I didn't even know that she was on tour but I said to myself because I see this done a lot when it's an artist like that who's kind of new they might put them at a smaller venue but if they see this show sold out quickly that means there was probably a lot more people who wanted to see her so they'll move them to a bigger venue and then more more tickets will be available so that's how I was able to get the tickets I got it for my sister and I to go together for her birthday, which was in July. Um, but then um, she, she wasn't able to attend. 
So it's just me and my girl Ashley. Um, and then this morning, randomly, um, I saw something on Instagram about Tank. He has a new album called R&B Money. And so he's having a album release party today as well. And that starts at either 10 or 11, I can't remember. But um, we're gonna go to that too. So Alex's concert starts at seven. Um, there's an opener, I do like the opener. If we miss her, it's okay. I would like to see her, because this is standing room. So, child, I don't want to be standing up all night. Um, and then, after the show, we're going to head over to Tank's album release party. So, this should be really fun. And I'm actually about to head home. I just dropped off my Nespresso machine that was not working. Um, I sent it back. I already got my new one, so that's good. But, um i've kind of timed this out i've been up for a very long time i think i got up at like five this morning but i didn't leave the house till noon maybe later and i have some paperwork to do and i'm gonna record a reel so i was just looking at my outfits this morning of what to wear now that we know we're going to two events two totally different events even though it's all music alex isley I, in my mind would be like very casual cute casual and then the album release party it's like show up show out show up show out be seen show what you're working with so I kind of had to rethink what I was gonna wear especially for the shoes because I was wearing flat sneakers or something to the concert but now that we're going to the album release we, we, we not wearing the sneakers so I'll figure that out but I have Three different outfits they're all like a variation of each other so i'll record a reel post it on instagram and then here in this in this video in this vlog you'll see which um which outfit i actually went with uh -oh. said we're gonna leave around 6 6 30 to get down to the venue um, we're actually gonna uber um, so what is that four hours from now I have some paperwork to do and I really really want to get in a nap you recorded me recording Today I am at American Home Liquidation. Um, I guess this is Norcross. Basically, the place that I got the fridge from the other day, they're having issues with their delivery apparently. And so it's delayed the delivery of my fridge and I really need one. So I'm gonna just look for another one. If I find a better deal, I'm gonna call them and tell them to cancel because although it's final sale, I think it's final sale after delivery and yelling deliver it so i'm gonna run in here see what they have hopefully i find something here and can get this done quickly <laughs>
really only had Samsung appliances. Um, and I was kind of trying to stay away from Samsung and LG and just stick with the tried and true Frigidaire, Kenmore, KitchenAid, uh, Whirlpool. Because we know they last a long time. So um, I went to one other place. He didn't have nothing. I was like, is this it? Is there something in the back? Because he had really good reviews. Like he had a bunch of options, but he didn't. And now I've actually found the place where I got a, a refrigerator about a year ago for one of my Airbnbs. I didn't remember the name of it, but I was just Googling like a crazy person. And now that I'm here, I know this is it. So I'm going to run in here. They close in 30 minutes. So we'll see what we find. pushing it into place and then also put out a little prayer for you girl i requested sears to give me my um, labor fee back because they fixed the original fridge only for it to go out a month later it's like i wasted my money so we'll see what they say um it's worth a try but yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog so again thank you for watching this refrigerator debacle Hope you were entertained, enjoyed, and found some new spots in Atlanta that you can go to for new appliances. They're just um, like an overstock from, from places, so there's nothing wrong with them. Maybe a, a physical dent, but they work, they're not used, so it is what it is. Thank you, and I will see you.